South Africa is a beautiful country and you don't have to look very far to look at some of the beauty we have around here. And the threat to this beauty and the biodiversity is simply enormous. It can totally transform it. These alien species are known to pump huge amounts of water out of our ecosystem. About 10% of the area of South Africa is covered by these species and that alone is about the total area of, of KZN. They remove water from the precious water supplies, they pump water out of the streams, they suck them up at an enormous volume. It is said in the KZN alone, nearly 600 million cubic meters of water are pumped out of our streams and rivers on an annual basis. That is two to three times the total volume of Midmar Dam. That water disappears. That is water that we are going to need in the future to grow crops, to care for our population. So alien plants are very dangerous in terms of water supply and biodiversity. Biodiversity is the balance of all the species in nature, whether it's other plants, the insects and butterflies that live off them, the animals that hide in them or live off them, they are all threatened when those things become unbalanced. So we have to correct that, make sure that the balance is maintained and biodiversity can exist and care for us and, until the end of time. Some plants are very easy to identify. Some aliens are spectacular. They are beautiful, they've been brought in for garden purposes, ornamental purposes, they're beautiful. Out of the 200 that we may have here that are serious aliens, some are very easy to identify. Everyone knows what a bugweed or a black wattle is, but some no one knows. And yes, it is important. We have to know which ones are dangerous and which ones are going to be okay. The number of alien plants in South Africa is always a debatable issue. Very often it's constrained by time. How far back do we go? And if we go back, say, four or 500 years, when a lot of alien species started coming with agriculture right up to now, an awful lot have been introduced. Up to, some people have said, up to 20,000 species. Of these, only a percentage are naturalized. And naturalized means that they grow unaided by gardeners. They occur naturally in the wild and can reproduce. And the number of naturalized species currently in South Africa is in the region of 2,000. Now, some of these could be uh, crop species. Some of them are the bad alien species. And of those, about four or 500 are potentially invasive. The current regulations are the CARA, the Conservation of Agricultural Resources Act of 1983, which was updated in 2001. And the government legislation talks of 197. Of those, 40 are category one. Category one are those that are serious threats to our biodiversity and the ecology of South Africa. The category two plants are those that can be grown with a permit such as forestry species. And then you have um, category three, which are a lot of ornamental plants. And a lot of those can remain where they are if the plants are existing, but you can't buy new ones. <laughs>